We have achieved possibly everything there is to achieve at Barcelona, winning the treble twice in our three-year tenure at the club and the Champions League three times in a row, equaling Zinedine Zidane's record. But maybe it is now time for a different challenge as we find ourselves in a peculiar position, a job offer coming from Liverpool in the Premier League. Maybe the Premier League is where it's at for us right now. A new league, new challenges, new goals and maybe it's time for us to prove ourselves in the Premier League managing a Liverpool side that haven't really won anything in the last few seasons. So this might be it. We've taken the job. Manager of Liverpool, can we achieve success with the Reds? Let's find out. Hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome to the first episode of the Liverpool Career Mode series. I am genuinely so hyped for this one because this is the first time we are taking charge of Liverpool on the channel and I'm really hoping we can bring the Reds some success. The goal of course with Liverpool right now is to try and win the Premier League. I think we've got the squad that can you know achieve that kind of success as well as perform well in the Champions League and who knows maybe we'll win that competition. We've already done it three times in a row with Barcelona. Hopefully let's make it four but this time with Liverpool. So if you guys are hyped for this career Career mode series, new series on the channel. Make sure to show your support by dropping a like on the video. And if you guys can smash out 700 likes on today's video, I'll get you guys another Liverpool episode tomorrow itself. So go down there and drop a like on the video. And if you're watching my content for the very first time, do subscribe for more FIFA 19 career mode videos. Let's get started with the Liverpool career mode. We are in season four right now with Liverpool. I'm sure most of you guys already know that. First three seasons, we we managed Barcelona and now we've taken the Liverpool job and hence why players will be three years older to what they are in real life. So before we talk about transfers, our budget, our objectives for the season, let's take a look at the team we have here at our disposal at Liverpool. So up front, we have got the Egyptian king himself, Mohamed Salah, 89 rated, 29 years old. He's getting old but I'm sure he's going to be at his, you know, peak for this season at the very least and I'm excited to use and score a lot of goals with him. Roberto Firmino up front as well, he is 29 as well, he's got great stats as well, I can't wait to use him and Sadio Mane down the left as he's also actually 29 so all three of our strikers or forwards are 29. Moving on to the midfield, we've got Bruno Fernandes, 87 rated, he looks really good guys, 26 years old, 4 star skill moves as well, some insane stats, I mean 90 stamina, that's awesome. Seems pretty Pretty quick but not really that quick but look at them technical stats man this guy seems to be a complete midfielder 90 long shots he's going to be insane for us this is what I love about doing career modes mid-season you know taking a new job and all that because you're gonna see a completely different team and also a lot of the young players at their full potential like look at this Nabi Keita is 88 rated in this save 26 years old four star weak foot four star skill moves he's gonna be super fun to use man can't wait Fabinho in that CDM role 27 again he's in his prime I think we're going to use him for the rest of this Liverpool career mode in that CDM role and he's going to be super fun. Robertson as our left back 85 rated absolutely fantastic. Cancelo as our right back again brilliant. Now again fun fact Trent Alexander-Arnold was bought by Barcelona when we were coaching them so maybe we can go back and you know bring in Trent. Who knows? That could be a transfer. Let me know in the comment section. Virgil van Dijk and Romagnoli as the centre-back pairing. That is very impressive. Van Dijk, although he's 30, if I'm not wrong, centre-backs take a long time to, you know, go down in their overalls. So, I think we'll be fine with Virgil van Dijk in at the back. So, Alisson and Girl, the Brazilian, 87 rated. Not bad at all. Really happy with him. On the bench, though, we've got interesting players in Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Now, the fun fact about him is that he was signed this season itself, so on a pre-contract, so there you go, Liverpool doing awesome business for us, bringing in Aubameyang, imagine rotating between Aubameyang and of course, Roberto Firmino, that is honestly the dream, like I know Aubameyang is 32, but look at that pace, he has still got it man, look at that, 91 sprint speed, he's got 87 finishing, again I can't wait to use him, you know, as a sub to Roberto Firmino, just makes perfect sense in my opinion. We've also got Rakitic, we managed him at Barcelona and now he's here at Liverpool. The same can be said for Arturo Vidal. 
but I'm not sure I'll be using them much in this save because both of them are really old, like Vidal is 34 and Rakitic is 33, but we have them on the bench, we can use them as super subs or something like that. Or maybe if you guys suggest we can bring in more midfielders. Florenzi is back up to Cancelo is perfect. Harry Maguire is a great option English as well. He's only 28 so he's got a good few years ahead of him and he's 84 rated. What a backup option he is. And this one's interesting. Loris Karius on the bench. I'm sure you guys will want me to sell him especially y'all Liverpool fans. Let me know what we should do with him and you know maybe bring in another keeper or something like that. Could be a great option. So in the reserves, we've got Socrates. Again, a great option, but he's old. So we might need another center back. Again, keep putting in your transfer suggestions in the comment section, guys. Because we've got a lot of business to do here at Liverpool to make this team the best in the world like we did at Barcelona. Ben Woodburn, 76 rated, 21. I think he's going to be a great youngster for the club. Solanke as well, 23. A great backup, backup option, I guess. And the rest of the players, I'm just looking to either loan out or sell. Like a lot of these youngsters are not at their full potential right now, but maybe loaning them out can help. And I do want to make a lot of signings. So I'm definitely looking to bring in a left winger. And I kind of feel like you guys know the player I'm going after. Again, a backup left back is another option because Robertson is our only left back. Maybe a younger centre back because Romagnoli, Van Dijk, Maguire and even Socrates, most of them are above 27, 28. So bringing in a youngster could be a real good option. Not looking to bring in Trent, at least for now, because Florenzi is pretty decent, but we could do so. It could be an option. Fabinho in that CDM role, we've got Vidal as backup. Again, it depends on you guys. If y'all think Vidal as backup is not good enough, then maybe we can go for a CDM. Again, I feel like we definitely need to bring in at least one midfielder because we've got Rakitic on the bench, but I, I feel like it's not enough. We definitely need another midfielder. And again, you guys can let me know in the comments section. Up front, as I just said, I'm happy with what we have right now. We've got Shakiri as well, back up to Salah. And yeah, definitely a backup winger. So again, you guys have any suggestions, make sure to put them down in the comments section below. We've got a transfer budget of about £150 million after getting a cheeky increase of, of course, £61 million. So £150 million to spend. Let me know all sorts of transfer suggestions in the comments section below. Press conferences make their return to the Liverpool career mode and I'm so hyped about it, guys. If you guys have any questions related to this series, related to real life football and all that, just put it down in the comments section below and I'll try and answer as many questions as possible in the next episode. Season goals will be making their return to the Liverpool career mode and you guys are going to be deciding every single objective we're going to try and achieve this season. So it could be like score 30 goals with Mohamed Salah or something like that. So make sure to leave your comments in the comment section of course and we're going to be picking six of them and our goal throughout the season will be to complete them. And also there's going to be a forfeit if we aren't able to complete three out of the six objectives that we do decide so, you know, keep the four feet. I'll be deciding later on. The first player we're going to be signing is a channel favorite, I must say, Juan Insua. Now, for those of you guys who are watching this Liverpool career mode for the first time without following my Barcelona save, Juan Insua is a bit of a cult hero. He is one of our youth academy prospects at Barcelona. He came out from the academy, scored on his debut and ended up scoring over 10 goals in his debut season at Barca. He is an absolute machine in this game. I mean, he is 17 and look at these stats. 81 finishing, 81 ball control, 79 crossing. He's got crazy good stats for his age and it's, it's just insane. He's got 94 potential as well, if I'm not wrong. And we are definitely going to be bringing him to Liverpool with us. We coached him already and it's now time for us to continue doing that here in the Premier League at Liverpool. So let's go ahead and bring him to the Premier League. 25 million for Juan Insua. I'm not sure they're going to accept that. Oh, well, there you go. They've accepted that. So that's actually a pretty good deal. I mean, 25 million for someone who could end up being 94 rated in the future. He's only 17 and he's already a baller. Well, that's a perfect deal for me. We are going to offer him a sporadic squad role. Let's see if he does accept that. He does accept that. So we aren't forced to play him in every single game, which I guess is good. But he's going to get quite a bit of game time for the club. Contract length, four years. That is absolutely perfect for me. No release loss, man. I don't want to be letting him go anytime soon in this series. Now, in terms of wages, this is interesting. He's on about 60 grand per month, um, which is an insane amount of money. So what we're going to do is 
offer him about 70,000. That's a bit of a bump. For a 17-year-old, giving him that much money is actually crazy. But oh well, he probably deserves it as he's an insane player. We're going to give him about 300,000 as a signing bonus. And let's just say what he and his agent come back and say. I feel like it's a fair offer. There you go. Juan Insua to Liverpool is a done deal. And I can't wait to see how he performs here in the Premier League. We are going to give Juan Insua number 7 at least for now. And Vidal will be wearing number 12. Because I'm not sure about Vidal's future here at Liverpool. So... There you go, Juan Insua gets that number. And again, for those of you guys wondering why did I opt for Juan Insua when we already have Shakiri and Salah, I don't plan using Insua as a right winger. I prefer him down the left because he's really good as a left winger, cutting inside and getting them finesse shots off with his right foot. So that's the plan I have for Juan Insua. When we were the coach of Barcelona, we had a tremendous amount of youngsters come up from the academy with insane potentials and overalls. One of them was Petar Ujovic, again similar to Juan Insua. So a 77 rated, he's 18 and has got some crazy good stats like 94 dribbling, 86 ball control and 93 shot passing. He could be an immense central midfielder for us. Let me know in the comments section if we should maybe go shopping at our former club and bring in a few youngsters from there. If we don't sign them now, of course we can sign them later on. So I thought I'd just ask you guys before making more signings from Barcelona. As you guys know, I want to also bring in a backup left back and I want to finish this transfer off in today's episode itself. I'm going to let you guys decide the rest of the transfers that we make. Maybe a potential big signing that you guys want me to make. I'll be reading your comments and then deciding that. But this transfer, I do want to secure in today's episode itself. A backup to Robertson and Ryan Sesegna could be the man for the job. So we are first going to scout him because we are now in season four. I'm not sure about his overall, so I'm not sure about his price. So it kind of makes sense for us to, you know, simulate a few days, get data on him and then decide how much should we offer. And also when you guys are leaving suggestions, keep in mind that players are going to be like three to four years older than what they normally are in real life. So keep that in mind when you guys are letting me know your transfer suggestions. We've just sold Simon Mignolet to Leicester City for about 4.8 million pounds. I feel like that's a good deal. And also an offer coming in for Karius from Crystal Palace for about 12.6 million. I think we can get more for him. So I am going to negotiate. If we can get about 15 million for Loris Karius, I am down. So let's counter with about 15 million pounds. If we do end up selling Karius, you guys will need to suggest a backup goalkeeper to me. Because Alisson can't be the only keeper we have at the club. So... Go down there and let me know in the comment section. There you go. Roy Hodgson is happy to match the 15 million price tag we've set for, of course, Loris Karius. So let's see if this deal does go through. Okay, this is interesting. Atletico Madrid have shown interest in purchasing Rakitic for a fee of about 15.8 million. I feel like that is a very, very fair offer. I'm still going to counter and try and negotiate. Yes, I'm probably looking to sell Rakitic. I mean, he's 33, guys. I mean, he wasn't getting the job done at Barcelona for us, so I'm not confident of him being at Liverpool here. So maybe it's the right decision to let him go and bring in someone else. Okay, so I'm going to counter with what Rakitic is valued at, which is £18 million. And I'm going to see what Diego Simeone says about that offer. And they're willing to pay the 18 million. We're doing some great negotiations here, boys. And there you go, 18 million for Rakitic. We'll find out if that deal goes through or not. There you go, guys. Both Rakitic and Karius have been sold. Absolutely fantastic. Barcelona wants to buy Andrew Roberts, and I don't know why, but I'm not going to let that happen, guys. No way are Barcelona coming in for Robertson. I know they're my former club, but hey, we're not doing any favors here, so I'm going to reject this. Robertson is a player I'm really eager to use in this series. Okay, so Ryan Sesegno is 82 rated right now, which is actually pretty good. He's only 21, and I feel it fits perfectly to what we're trying to build here at Liverpool. He's a great backup option, so let's try and sign him from Fulham. Okay, so I'm gonna be offering about 35 million pounds first to just see what Fulham come back and say. 35 million I feel is a fair offer and there you go, we're getting business done without any sorts of problem here. 35 million for Ryan Sesegno I feel is a steal. Rotation squad role is what I'm offering Ryan Sesegno, I feel it is fair and there you go, his agent thinks the same. Five year deal, well that's perfect, let's offer him that. I want to keep him as long as possible here at Liverpool. Deny release clause, absolutely perfect. He doesn't want it either, just makes perfect sense. Now in terms of wages, let's see what we can do. So I'm going to offer him £60,000 per week. I think it is very, very fair. And we're going to give him a signing bonus of about 
pounds. I feel like that is a very fair offer. Let's see what he comes back and says. Oh, wait, it is not fair. They do want it to be bumped up. So, you know what? I'm going to accept it because I feel 75,000 for an 82 rated player isn't bad. 650 may be a bit on the high side, but oh well. He's a quality English talent. And there you go. Ryan Sesegno is now a Liverpool player. And there you go, number 21 is what we've given Ryan Sesegno, at least for now. Again, if you guys have any suggestions for kit numbers, let me know in the comment section below. So far, we've spent about £60 million bringing in the 17-year-old Spaniard Juan Insua, as well as the Englishman Ryan Sesegno. Okay, this is an interesting one. Bayern Munich have shown interest in Virgil van Dijk. There's no way I'm selling our captain, guys. Van Dijk stays at Liverpool, so we are going to reject this offer from Bayern Munich. And besides, I feel it's not good enough. We now have an offer for 34-year-old Arturo Vidal. Again, I'm going to sell him, guys, because I'm just not interested in keeping him. He's already gone down by one in his overall, so it just makes sense selling him to Arsenal for 5.3 million pounds. And also, now that we've sold two midfielders, we definitely need to bring in more midfielders. And maybe one of them could be Petar Ujevic from Barcelona. Again, he's not another one of those youth academy prospects. Let me know what we should do in the comment section, guys, because we need to make some midfield signings in the next episode for sure, especially after the departure of Rakitic and Arturo Vidal. Okay, 10.4 million for Harry Wilson. Is he good in this game, guys? I think he played for Derby County, if I'm not wrong. Yes, he did. 10.4 million for him is a very, very good offer. And he's 24, he's 75 rated. I don't think he's going to be fulfilling his potential. So we are going to let him go. 10.4 million, I'll take that because we need to bring in a couple of quality players and this added money could really help us. And there you go, guys. Arturo Vidal has been sold for 5.3 million pounds. That's great. Transfer for Fabinho. There's no way we are selling him as well. So I'm going to reject this, especially from Chelsea, one of our rivals. So... There you go. So far, we've done really good business in this window, bringing in Juan Insua from Barca and Ryan Sesegno from Fulham. I don't want to be making more transfers in today's video because I want to read through your comments and then decide what to do. So we should have an insane budget of about £140 million after selling a lot of the dead wood we had at the club. And now, you guys get to decide what we do with this money. We certainly need to bring in midfielders, but any other suggestions are welcome. We are going to be making our debut in the Premier League in today's episode. The first time I'm coaching a Premier League club in FIFA 19. And I cannot wait for this, guys. It's Liverpool versus Southampton, a club that Liverpool usually signs players from. So, an interesting game to be making my debut in. I'm excited for this, guys. But first, let me talk about my tactics. Okay, so the formation I'm going to be using for the first few episodes to see how this team performs is the 4-3-3 with a CDM. Again, if you guys have any suggestions, for formations you can let me know in the comments as well so that's the formation i'm going to be opting for in terms of tactics we're going to be going balanced on defensive style to just see how the team works with a decent amount of width and depth offensive style balanced as well and again a decent amount of width lots of players in the box trying to make runs like you know Firmino, Salah and Mane corners on three and free kicks on three as well player instructions wise I want my fullbacks to bomb forward and make them overlapping runs Fabinho to stay back while attacking cover center you know to try and win the ball back and play them forward to the midfielders who I have not given any particular instructions they are free to you know create for the team Firmino as well not given him any instructions apart from you know stay forward now the wingers i've given a lot of instructions stay forward cut inside get in behind get into the box for crosses and the same goes for Mane. so that's how the team is going to be playing on the pitch now in terms of player roles we've got virgil van dyke captaining the side bruno fernandez taking free kicks because he's the only one capable of doing so he's got 82 free kick accuracy definitely deserves to take that role salah's going to be taking the pens and fernandez the corners here we go guys, first game of this series at Anfield, Liverpool versus Southampton and this is the team that I've put forward, Mane, Firmino and Salah up front, Bruno Fernandes, Keita and Fabinho in midfield, Robertson, Van Dijk, Romagnoli and Cancelo at the back with Alisson, the goalkeeper and also the bench is looking very, very good. Got Harry Maguire, Florenzi, Ben Woodburn, Ryan Sesegno, Insua, Shakiri, Obamiang. So we've got some serious options coming off the bench, which we may utilize. But I'm really hoping we can kick off the Premier League with a win. One of the objectives in this series is to win the Premier League, and a win, getting three points, would be absolutely perfect. 
Firmino. Out wide to Mane. Mane finds Bruno Fernandes. Fernandes whips in the cross to Mohamed Salah down that left wing position. I'd love to see him score. Gets the shot off. But Jasper Sillison, I coached him at Barcelona. Interesting to see him play here for Southampton. Easy save for him though. Naby Keita now. In behind to Mohamed Salah who I think is onside. There you go. Salah beats one. Still Salah gets the shots off. A lot of power behind that. But Vertonghen playing at Southampton makes the block. Out wide now to Sadio Mane. Mane cuts inside on his right foot. Plays this one to Bruno Fernandes who almost scored there. But what a save from Jasper Sillison. I mean he got down so quickly there. Great goalkeeping from the former Barcelona keeper. That is half time now. And I'm a bit disappointed with how things have gone. We haven't really been able to create that many chances. Maybe it's because it's our first game with a completely different side. With completely different players. But a bit of a disappointment so far. In the second half I'm really hoping we can score. To try and get the three points. I don't want to be dropping points in my first game of the season itself. There goes Bruno Fernandes, who's probably been the best player on the pitch so far. Look at him go. Salah, in behind now to Naby Keita. What a chance this is. He squares this one to Roberto Firmino, who is onside, and he puts Liverpool into the lead. That's the first goal we've scored in the series, and it comes from Bobby Firmino. Great finish. Didn't really have to do much as the work was done with the combined effort between Salah and Naby Keita. Keita gets the assist. Firmino gets the goal as Liverpool take the lead. And this one's a special goal. My first goal scored at Anfield in front of the home crowd, of course, with Firmino in the Premier League. A big moment for us and we are in the lead against Southampton. It is time to make a substitution. I am going to bring on Juan Insua for Sadio Mane. And also, I'm going to be bringing on Shakiri, who I'm sure can play in midfield for Naby Keita. Keita's had a good game, but his stamina seems to be going down. So it kind of makes sense bringing Shakiri on. So that's how we're going to be playing for the remainder of this game. Here's Bruno Fernandes. Whips in the cross to Mohamed Salah. The header is off target. Uh, Salah from that position with his head maybe should have done better. I mean, yeah, it was a difficult chance, but oh well, Salah does miss that one. Robertson in behind to Insua. We know he's quick. Here goes Juan Insua. Maybe a cross. That's a very good cross into Salah. Salah's header is blocked off there. Insua already making an impact here at Liverpool with a fabulous cross to Mohamed Salah. What's he going to do from here? Out wide to Juan Insua. Insua now beats one. Insua shoots. Keeper makes the save. Sillison with a fabulous save there as they do get the ball away. Would have loved to see Insua score on his debut. There you have it guys for this one. Not the most exciting games but it's only our first game with Liverpool of course. It's going to take us some time to get our ideas across with a new team. But the most important thing is that we managed to get the win. The three points in the bag as we do beat Southampton in our very first Premier League game of the season. Courtesy of a goal coming from Roberto Firmino. Interesting article in the news section. Players that will boss the midfield in 2021. Paul Pogba, Serge Milinkovic Savic and Paolo Dybala from Barcelona. And of course, Deli Ali from Spurs. Interesting to see a Spurs player in here. That's a very interesting list of midfielders. Of course, none of them play for Liverpool, but yeah, we're going to keep an eye on them. We are sixth in the league right now with Spurs being top with a four goal differential. Interesting to see teams like Palace, West Ham, Brighton and all get wins. Arsenal, Chelsea, City, United all with a draw. Nottingham Forest in the Premier League is also very interesting with Blackburn Rovers in there as well. But yeah, we are sixth in the league right now, which I guess isn't that bad because there's only been a game that's been played so far. Next episode, guys, y'all need to help me out a ton because we need to bring in a couple of midfielders, a backup goalkeeper, and also strengthen other parts of the team where you guys see fit. So, again, 150 million to spend. Let me know all sorts of transfer suggestions in, of course, the comment section. Again, remember, this is season four, so some of the plays you may suggest may be different to what you guys are expecting them to be because they may be higher rated, they may be lower rated, who knows? But that's what makes this season with Liverpool super interesting. But yeah, can't wait to read through all your comments. Before we end off the episode, time for you guys to vote for your player of today's episode. Usually it's over three or four games that we do have in the episode, but today's episode only one game as it's basically the first episode of the series. So make sure to click the i button on the top right of your screen to vote. And your options are going to be Naby Keita, 
I thought he was brilliant in midfield, got the assist to that Firmino goal and also overall ran the midfield and also Bruno Fernandes, he didn't score or assist but he was really solid in that midfield role so he is your second nominee, make sure to vote by clicking the i button on the top right of your screen. And that's about it for today's episode, really hope you guys have enjoyed today's one, I mean first episode should be a lot of hype, hopefully you guys can smash down 700 likes so that you guys get an episode tomorrow itself, we've got so much work to do in the next episode episode you know more signings more games premier league stuff champions league group draw it's going to be an exciting one guys hopefully you guys you know are really keen on watching this liverpool save drop a like if you are again as i said 700 likes gets you an episode tomorrow subscribe for more fifa 19 career mode content and i will see you guys very soon with another video on this channel